um, I heard to close everything down down there again, huh? I think we're going to cancel our trip. Really? I'm saying the president said they're open now. They've been open now. They're closing down. Don't like carrying an air compressor around. Well, we have yet another flat tire. This was the spare that came from this truck. And because you, you can tell that we actually use that one because that thing's still dangling, the thing that drops it. And this is the spare, and I guess our construction area isn't the cleanest. I bought a magnet so that I could pick up the nails and the screws, and some for some reason, I didn't pick them all up, I guess. I found a nail the other night. Somewhere along this portion of the tire, it's probably under the tire right now. But this one is going flat on me now too. The reason the first tire blew was because of the same situation. It would it would leak a little bit, I'd run it on low PSI, the sidewall uh, would wear out, and then it eventually blew out. Last six months been a show or what? I put a word in front of that show, but then YouTube may frown upon my video because I'm using inappropriate language. As you guys know, the house that I purchased, um, I, I would like to demolish it for whatever reason. The city is giving me a hard time with just about everything. So we, we were waiting on a, a permit to demolish the house. Uh, they, the city wanted the original owner to do something with the house years ago. The guy lived in it for four or five years like it was. When we went to go get the permit, uh, while we were waiting on that permit, we got a permit for the roof here in the garage because the garage roof was leaking, but for whatever reason, they wouldn't let us improve the garage unless the house, there was something done with the house. Um, which is kind of silly in my opinion, because if, if you're looking to improve anything on your property, they should give you the green flag. So they gave us, you know, a letter, and I read that to you uh, per, pertaining to uh, just basically inviting us into the, inviting us into the community saying, hey, if you want to do something, you need a permit to do it. Uh, luckily no fines or anything like that, but I did file for the demolition permit like I stated and I got an email and that's for this video This is what this is the information you guys do not know as of now building safety department building permit This permit will become null and void if construction is not started and a passing inspection obtained within six months notice demolition permits are active for only 60 days in addition to the requirements in this permit, there may be additional restrictions, applications to this property that may be found in the records of this count uh, in this county, and there may be additional permits required from other governmental entities such as water management, uh, state agencies, or federal agencies. The hell is that? Goodness, I thought the kid blew himself up. He's having a fire. Now in big bold letters this email says call before you dig warning to owner your failure to record a notice of commencement may result in you paying twice for improvements to your property a notice of commencement must be recorded in a certified copy filed at the building department before the first inspection if you intend to obtain financing consult with your lender or attorney before recording your notice of commencement. And then it breaks down all the things I'm paying for here. We have a permit fee, a DCA surcharge, another surcharge, and then uh, the deposit for the permit. Now, I got this email and then went ahead and started doing stuff around the property.
first post went decent. However, the second post broke my hammer. As you can see here, it was already split and frayed from prior mistakes. And it only took, you know, one more, two more mistakes. And now we have this. So I buried that guy, started burying that guy. Now the next door neighbor has gone ahead and went after his sledgehammer. Sledgehammer these things down. You need to mark off the septic tank to get the permit. We're having an inspection tomorrow. He'll come here. I think this is the only thing they really want to see is to make sure that you're marking stuff off and trying to follow their rules. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to break this, so that's good. Jeepers. this thing would sink right into the ground. New York's got better dirt. <laughs> Hang on to that. I won't hit you. I hope our pink and green color scheme is up to Florida standards. She's marked. After I marked off the septic tank, with the two different color strings, I called up the inspector because what I understood was I'm supposed to call them. If, if you agree with me, leave it in the comment section. If you disagree, leave it in the comment section. I figured, you know, before we tear this house down, I have to call them and say, okay, look at what it is before, and then we'll look at it here when we're done. So I had them scheduled the following day so we could get this thing going, right? I get like one of the first appointments in the morning. He comes out, I'm still sleeping. I called him up and he says, you haven't done anything. And I'm like, what? He says, you haven't done anything. Why, why'd you have me come out there? I said, I thought according to your permit here that I had to get you out here before I did the work. He says, no, you're, you're all ready to go. Just start taking it down. So I was like, perfect, we're good. He says, yes. I'm like, thank goodness no fines we get to start taking down the house the city wants the house demolished i want the house demolished let's demolish a house very good we're, we're moving in the right direction ladies and gentlemen make sure your like button is blue a lot of hands make light work stay froggy fresh stay super fly we're freaking finally moving thank goodness <laughs>